water. The biggest deal about Europa is that it may be the most promising place off of the Earth for life in our solar system. The Galileo spacecraft returned images of Europa that revealed a strange variety of icy structures, some created by blobs of warmer ice that rise through colder ice. Europa generates heat inside. How? It flexes as it's tugged by Jupiter's gravity. Just like the Earth's oceans have tides because they're pulled by the moon's gravity, Europa should have a tide because it's pulled by Jupiter's gravity. And Europa, as it orbits, gets a little closer and a little farther from Jupiter. So when it's closer to Jupiter, it would be stretched out more. When it's farther from Jupiter, it would contract more. It's kind of like bending a paperclip. If you bend a paperclip back and forth, that generates just a little bit of heat. If you touch it to your lip, you can feel that, that paperclip's heated up. So in a similar way, this flexing of Europa as it orbits around Jupiter is generating heat and keeping that ocean going. It may even be hot enough that if the mantle encounters water, it might create black smokers like we see on Earth's ocean floor, an environment in which primitive organisms might be able to survive. I would certainly say that Europa has the most potential uh, within our solar system for life outside the Earth. Other icy satellites are candidates. Mars is a candidate too. And you might get a different opinion from a different scientist. But based on what I understand about the icy satellites, Europa seems very promising for uh, microbial life today. New research is bringing scientists closer to understanding Europa. Inside this tiny lab at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, scientists are creating a database to try to answer big questions about Europa and other icy moons. Well, the purpose of this lab is to perform experiments that are relevant to Europa and to other icy satellites, to understand things like how much heating is there when the ice is squeezed and flexed or if there is a flow of slushy, icy stuff that comes out onto the surface of Europa, or Titan, or Enceladus, at Saturn. Uh, what are the characteristics of ices when they're slushy like that and might erupt onto the surface? We don't know if life is really unique to our Earth, very rare in the cosmos, or is it very common in the cosmos? If we went someplace like Europa, and found evidence for life today in another ocean, it would say that maybe wherever there's an ocean or a warm, salty ocean, there's life. And that could mean that life may be abundant throughout the universe.